All right, so I figured to put together a quick little demo of this uh, repeater PLL circuit. Um, just using my tiny little Cricut amp on my tiny little uh, eight inch speaker here. I use this to test all my circuits after I finish soldering them all up. Um, made another one yesterday and that's when I realized you're supposed to put the NE5532 circuit in it, not the TL072 uh, dual off amp. It, wor it works way better. It triggers way better and whatever. When I was putting the second one together, uh, I realized that I forgot to give you guys that note. Um, first one I put together, um, exact same circuit. I didn't change anything in between the two, so I'll just show you. Um, it's a lot of fun. It makes all sorts of wacko noises. So it gets synthy like this. So the uh, switches basically turn on what I'd say is the crazy glitchy thing. So when it's off, it's just kind of a synthy fuzz. I mean, nothing spectacular. I could definitely see it being use usable. I mean, if you're recording or something, you want something, you know, robotic sounding. The pedal has a ton of output. So, uh, the fun happens when you kick on the switch. So the first one is that kind of like frequency. The other knob uh, seems to kind of be like, I'd say sensitivity or kind of like, I, don't know, I think they have it labeled as sustain. Um, I can see it at times depending on how you got the knob set. <laughs> I'd definitely say more synth than noise. I mean, it definitely makes some pretty wacko noises. Um, oh, just to show you here, uh, when you flip the other switch, it kind of just randomizes it in a way, or just makes it really wonky. Which is really cool. I mean, I could definitely see, you know, multi-track and some crazy Nintendo eating sounds. <laughs> fun um same thing on this one so you know it just makes lots of weird funky noises say this is definitely for the guy who's a fan of the ring modulator i think that's one of those those circuits just like oh i fucking hate the ring modulator and then the other people are like oh my god the thing is just the coolest so this is definitely for the guy who's like oh my god i love the ring modulator because it just does a lot of just really crazy fax machine wacko noises so um it's not for everybody i definitely say if you're more into that camp um i haven't hooked it up to a keyboard or a drum machine but i have a feeling in, into either of those this is just going to be a whole whole different animal I love that it works on guitar. It's just really neat to get stuff that you know you can use on your guitar and bass that just makes the total strange noises. So. <laughs> Thanks for posting that, uh, Vero. This is a really cool one. I haven't gone through it and put up any mods. Um, I'm gonna throw up. Um, I just discovered the forum side of this website. I've been on it like a million times. I didn't realize that you could actually like submit your own stuff on there. So I'll start throwing up some Veros. I've, um, I made another one of that Pong War Machine that I put a, like an octave down one and two and made it blendable. So I got a couple uh, circuits in this neighborhood that I'll try and throw up over the next week or two as I dig them out of my computer. So uh, if you're looking for some new stuff to chew on that's not just a fuzz pedal or another tube screamer, I'll try and uh, start delivering some cool goods out there too. <laughs> But this is definitely worth a build uh, if you're bored and you want something cool. Uh, not too many parts, you know, it didn't take more than an hour. So thanks for putting that one out there. It's a lot of fun. <laughs>